Well, guys, day two with this Toyota Tacoma, and I've already found something that the 4Runner desperately, desperately needs. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about the 360 camera system that comes standard on the TRD Pro and a select trim on the TRD Off-Road kind of premium for the Tacoma. And it's this cool little button right here that allows you to see different angles of the truck. There's a camera on the front of the truck that obviously shows the front. And then when you tie in the front camera, camera in the rear, and the two under the mirrors, it'll give you a full 360 camera. As you can see, I have a trash can right outside, and that kind of shows up on this left-hand side. If you were to press this button again, you could see the trash can right there. It is also only kind of the front of the truck. So this whole mode is good for when you're off-roading and stuff. It does work at select, you know, slower miles per hour. If you're going like 50, 60 miles an hour, I had an issue with it trying to come on and staying on, but it does work at very slow mile per hour. So when you're off-roading, this is very cool because if you had an obstacle, which we will be checking out on Saturday when we off-road this thing, if that palm tree was like a big old rock, you would be able to see it. And if you turn the vehicle on, you can tell that that is my left tire right there. So the tires are turning as I'm turning the steering wheel. And then as well, when you put it into reverse, which I noticed is very nice too, you have your trajectory from spinning the steering wheel. So my wife's car is to the right-hand side. And you can see if I keep turning this, it's gonna show you that I'm about to hit her car, which is right there. So the trajectory thing is very cool. As you keep turning the steering wheel, you can tell. And then if you also, I don't know why you would want to, but if you press this, you only get your rear view camera as well. There are parking sensors on the rear of this vehicle, but for some reason, Toyota didn't do parking sensors in the front, because I guess they thought that if you have a front facing camera, you know, if you're about to go forward, that your front facing camera would see everything. Or the fact that if you were on a trail as well, it would be constantly beeping. To me, that personally doesn't make sense because you have this parking sensor on off right here for the truck that you could turn it on and off. So I'm not sure why there isn't some on the front because if you get close to something, you rely on pressing that camera button and turning on the camera to see what's in front of you instead of the beepers like on my wife's RAV over there that say, hey, <laughs> you're about to get close to something, you're about to hit it. Now talking about this camera system, the quality, it shows up on camera pretty decent, but it's very distorted, honestly, guys. And even just looking down the vehicle, you could tell that it's a little bit distorted. It's not full HD quality like a lot of other vehicles in this class or price range are, but still, nonetheless, it is nice that Toyota is finally going in this direction to give you full 360 camera views in vehicles that uh, should definitely have it, especially being off-road vehicles to see that terrain around you all the time because you can, you know, look out your vehicle and see things and stuff, but it is nice to kind of have like a uh, little looking over there, you track it in the middle and then you can look over that side, especially if you're going over some crazy obstacles that a lot of people do go over in, in these Tacomas. So coming to the outside of the vehicle on the driver's side mirror, you can see the camera right there. And on the passenger side, it has the same one. So those cameras actually angle down this way a little bit to get where your tires basically are in the vehicle. What will stitch together the back of the vehicle is your back camera right here on the tailgate. Again, there are parking sensors in the back of the truck, as you can see right here, there, and then the two on the other side. So very strange that they didn't put it in the front again. Here's your passenger side camera and then the one in the grill as well, which is actually very, very cool. Um, and it is a kind of a wider camera, so you will get a lot of the ground as well when you're off-roading. But again, then the clarity paired with kind of the cruddier camera quality of these cameras, again, it is nice to have something, but at the same time, it is a little distorted. So then again, you may not pick up everything that's in front of you on the trail. Some stuff may kind of get uh, blurred together and whatnot. So regardless of the quality of the image, it's a very cool system that this truck has. But when I was in a parking lot demonstrating it for Instagram stories, there was a car also that drove past me. So this has the cross traffic alert system. So I was showing that in the parking space, uh, turning the steering wheel and stuff, how I was getting close to the other car. 
it actually showed me in the full parking uh, lane and stuff by stitching together all the cameras. And then a car drove past, it beeped at me as well. So a very cool system that they actually put on the Tacoma starting in 2020 and obviously they kept it. And I do wish that the 4Runner had it because I have some very dark tint. Sometimes it's hard to see at night. And the cameras would help pretty good at getting in and out of parking spaces, especially it being an SUV, you may have stuff in the back. Just a very cool system that I wish they would have on, honestly, every single Toyota. So if you guys are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. Returning subscribers, as always, I appreciate your guys' support, and I will catch you in the next one. All right, see you later.